You know, I was just watching some political confirmation hearings. And what I find quite interesting is that whenever a question was asked to a nominee on some tweets or maybe a paper that they had written in the past, they were asked yes or no answers or yes or no questions. Every single one of them always explained. They never answered the question. And I was sitting there wondering to myself, why can't they just be honest? Why can't you just tell or explain what you wrote? Yes, because X, Y, and Z, or no, because this is what I meant. They never answer the question. Never, it's a yes or no question. They never give a yes or no answer. So the scripture comes to mind. And I want to give you a brief thought on the science of yes or no. The science of yes or no. And where the heart of the person is when they refuse to answer a question, yes or no. Now, I completely understand that not every question can be answered with a yes or no. Some of them, it really depends. You know, it takes a bit of explaining. Okay, it's not a cut and dry answer. But to be transparent, to be completely honest, I would answer the question a yes or no, or it depends. Yes, it depends on X, Y, and Z, or no, because it depends on X, Y, and Z. But you received your answer. If you look at the book of Matthews, the fifth chapter, reading the 37th to the 39th verse. I want to just focus on the 37th verse. It reads as follow. But let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay. For whatsoever is more than these come from the evil one. I'm going to repeat that. But let your communication be yea, yea, or nay, nay. For whatsoever is more than these come from the evil one. So when you refuse to answer a simple question of yes or no, and you go on talking about something else and giving reasons on why you did it, or at the time, I believe this, or I can't answer because of this, that means you have evil intentions. Your heart is evil. It's coming from an evil place. So the science of yay, yay, or nay, nay is being transparent, is being truthful, is being straightforward and honest. Now, if I was being confirmed or confirmed to a position that I was nominated for, and I was asked a question on, like, say, some tweets that I had tweeted or maybe a video that I made. Did you say this, this, this? Yes. And this is why. I would give explanation on why I said what I said, but to deny it by omitting to answer the question, it becomes a lie. Your truth becomes a lie. It comes from an evil place. So let your communications or let your answers be yay, yay, or nay, nay. For whatsoever cometh from that comes from the evil one. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.